Do you want to hear about how a detour into Unity changed my outlook on game development? Good, because that's why I'm here today. You know, game dev, it's not a straight line, and it doesn't have to be, just like any creative process. There are, are many roads to take, many things you can try. I took a huge detour in my own game development from SpriteKit and Swift into Unity. So before we can talk about how Unity changed my perspective on game development, we have to take a step back and talk about why I started developing games in the first place. I'm a self-proclaimed Apple fanboy. If you go to my Twitter feed, it's in my description. So when the iPhone came out, of course I wanted it, but I also was a college student, didn't have enough money. I had to wait until the iPhone 3GS. Once I got my first iPhone, I said, hey, how hard is it to make one of these apps? And it, it turns out that Back then, the barrier to entry was much higher than it is today. Fast forward a few more years, now Apple comes out with Swift, and Swift is a much more attainable language. They also allow you to sideload your apps on your own personal devices. Finally, I can now make my game and I can play it on my own device. So I try again, and I'm learning more. Every time I pick up Xcode and I get a little bit further, there's more documentation, so I'm able to find out more information and build a better app. The biggest breakthrough, and this is what I wanna talk about today, was the detour that I took into Unity. Now, you might ask, how did Unity help with game development as a hobby? Well, it was really my first experience of having something structured my wife got me a Udemy course to help with my game development, but she didn't know about platforms, about different languages and stuff like that. And so when she went into Udemy to get me a course, she just put like iOS game development in the search bar and bought like one of the top rated courses for me. Turns out it was a Unity course. You know, I knew about Unity. I had downloaded it a few times throughout my early years trying to figure it out, but it's a big platform. This course simplified it. Not only that, but it helped me understand game development in a way that I hadn't been able to get through reading blogs on the internet, going to basically going to Google or uh, reading Apple documentation. All of that stuff is fine and helpful, but having a structured course really opened my eyes to game development. It really allowed me to see, all right, there's there's other tools out there, there's other things that you can do. And sometimes taking that um, fresh perspective can get everything moving in the right direction. And I, I really think that this is what that detour did for me, which then when I went back to Swift and SpriteKit, I was able to pick it up much faster. And also I was able to develop better code and better structure my uh, my ideas just because I had gone through this detour and this path that changed all about how I developed games. I guess the moral of the story is the, the point of this video is to tell you that if you're, if you're stuck in some rut on your game dev journey, if it's okay to take a different path for a little while. The lessons that you learn and the experiences that you have in everything that you do can, can ultimately be a learning experience. And I say all of this you know, with the asterisks that I'm not doing this professionally. This is not my career, but there are many routes that you can take. And don't just focus on what you think might be the path for you. Keep your eyes open and if something is presented to you, why not try? So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button down below. Here's another one for you to watch on why I am sticking with SpriteKit. And I hope to see you in the next video. If you'd like to do that, please click subscribe. I'll see you there.